Hello, this is Bol or Andrew. Let's try out Automata Break. Automata? Automata? Automata Break? Uh, by clicking on the accept button and playing this game, you agree to our teams of service and privacy policy. Okay. Um, I have a fan on to survive, but I'm gonna turn it off just to reduce the noise in the background. <laughs> can make it a bit hard to concentrate or whatever. Ooh. There's nice music going on. I'm wearing a Voodoo Edge vest, so I get haptic feedback, or not really haptic feedback, but uh, it has six transducers and reacts to bass, different frequency ranges. So let's see how well that works. Let's check out the options first. The title is very similar to the buttons. <laughs> like, nope, that's not a button. Uh, Anti-aliasing, shadow quality low. Shadows are usually expensive, so it makes sense to have them on low. PC can do without anti-aliasing. That's the right monitor. And the scaling 1x is good. Bloom quality, normal, bloom quality. Full screen mode. That well, seems to all make sense. Sound options. Just levels, okay. Wait, I didn't change anything, but I guess I need to apply anyway. There's also a button to apply here. I, did, I don't know why. Uh, I mean... Oh, there's always a... Okay, the apply button is always there. Okay. I like that the logo is like 3D and floating in front. Um, single player because I live alone and there's no one, no guests here. Start with the first mission. I'm not sure if there's supposed to be a tutorial or anything, but I think these are just for decoration. That could be an avatar configurator. Doesn't seem to do anything. Maybe we're. Oh, it's obviously work in progress, but. Operator. Because it's not out yet. Server and a multifunctional intelligence. But you may call me Aomi. As you may recall, the virus has infiltrated in our system and has damaged the machinery. While I investigate the provenance of the problem, you will be assigned to the containment efforts. As you already know, the bridge is the place where you can monitor the automata activity. You can also customize the facility. To avoid the escape, you may consider building some defensive structures. Use your controllers to rotate the map. Point your laser at any socket and press the trigger to open the defensive structures menu. Then select what model you want to build. Oh, 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 oh. A thing I immediately react on is this is text with a transparent background. You can see <laughs> probably that. Socket and press the trigger yep. to open the defensive structures menu. Then select what model you want to build. I wonder if the AI is supposed to be that head because the audio is not coming from anywhere. It's inside my head, so I imagine I have a ship built in. Um, Point your laser at any socket and press the trigger to open the defensive structures menu. Then select uh, what model you want to build. Yes. So anyway, this missile revolver turret. That text is almost impossible to read when it's on top of the blue uh, gates, I guess. Socket and press the trigger to open the defensive structures menu. That's a bit problematic. But yeah. Uh, hmm. Uh, so these dialogues work because they have a black background. Point your laser at any socket and shoots missile at enemy unit. Damage in an area of effect. Then select what model. Instantly teleports. Shoots a barrage of 20 millimeter laser power bullets at high speed against enemy units. Base damage. This would be nice. Like this feels like a lot of flavor text. Press the trigger to open the defensive structures menu. It's it's nice to read 
like the f shut up but it's nice to read the first time but later in the game i imagine i would only be ever be interested in like um point your laser at any socket and press we'll respond your units and destroy the structures i mean this is important but model you want to build I just feel like it could be more condensed because we have, we have these properties: targets, fire rate, price. Point your laser so, at any socket and press the trigger. Yeah, I don't know. When the defensive structures I lost my dialogue. Select what model you want to build. In the end, I think you just learned the, the icons anyway, so maybe it's not even important. I don't know. Let's do an anti-personal one. Button to let them through, so you can neutralize the infected automata. There they are. There you go. So I noticed before that the wave zero one text was up mirrored when I was on the back of this. Um, but I'm not sure. I mean, it could be flipped depending on which side I was looking at. So it could be save wave one there and there. I'm not sure if that would work with. I guess it could be depend on the player camera. So some, someone is. Okay. Maybe you will need to get in there. In first person, it would be separate. Make sure your defenses are set. Then press the indicated button on your controller to go into the map. Oh, you target. Press the indicated button on your controller to go into the map. So this one puts down soldiers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I should listen Press to the bot. Indicated button on your controller to go into the map. Into the nav. I guess that's first person. <laughs> if one of the automa to leave the station, our exterior forces will eliminate it. However, if several infected units achieve their escape, you will fail your mission. And you must trust me when I say you don't want to fail your mission. So always check the escape status on your right hand. Press the indicated button to move to the designated position. The designated position? Is that here? Uh, I guess it's the big... Take your position. Oh, the blue. Automata movement. No. Operator, press the button when ready. So I had coincidentally put the <laughs> my soldiers in the same place, making me think this was actually part of the spawning of these uh, these units. Uh, okay. That's hilarious. There they are. So. Do I should faster by clicking? I think so. But I no I'm actually not sure. Make the best robots in the galaxy. So there might be a bit more. Ugh. Powerful enemies coming. Luckily you can improve your weaponry. Why don't you check it out? Let's return to the bridge. Teleport to bridge. Is that him? Oh, it's the help, help thingy. Boop. When you teleport back to the bridge, your combat armor can still be attacked and destroyed. If that happens, it will take us some time to build a replacement, and your escape status will be affected. Be careful when returning to the bridge. Your defensive structures can be improved. Just select one and purchase the upgrade. Level two. You can also acquire new weaponry from the store on your left side. If you have enough credits, select one and purchase it. Buy laser buster level two. Press the indicated button on your controller to go into the map. To switch between weapons, press the highlighted input. Okay, now, alert. Alternative escape route detected. Enemies incoming from both sides. Prepare to engage in combat and then press the highlighted button. <sighs> there they are. I'm a bit scared about all the buttons now. Did I switch weapon? I... That was a bit confusing. 
guess I also have health. So there are two bars here. I'm not sure what they mean. Uh, so that's the toggle between, yeah, between the level and the the, the mech. Make it in blue. Can upgrade that. Viper Buster, Laser Buster. It doesn't feel like I'm shooting laser with the with the mech right now. Hmm. For my ears, it seems the force fields are failing. Now the automata can pass through areas they could not before. Oh shoot! Really? Oh, so they... C wait, are people appearing up there too? Have I missed this? Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> now I'm not sure what's going on here. Uh, I'm gonna put this here. Oh, let's put it... Starting to get worried here. <laughs> Particle acceleration turret. Condenses and shoots a plasma ray towards target enemy unit dealing constant damage. Damage increased over time. Hmm. So at the end I would want a high, high damage single target weapon. Shoots missiles to target enemy unit. The explosion contact doing... 16 damage. Fire rate slow. Fire rate fast. Personnel turret. Particle acceleration turret. It's kind of hard to decide. Let's let's try this one. And over here, let's try a different one to see how that goes. This is a slow turret. Take the the anti-personnel one. Let's put. I think they, let's put a slow turret here, maybe. Yeah, I think it captures them at the end. Well, that's all I can do. Um, the start wave. I think at this point I want to go down into this bot and start wave. And will they actually appear in both doors? Oh yeah. Does that mean a lot of them have already reached the end and I haven't noticed? I don't I don't even know. Are my guys mute the desk microphone so I'm wondering if my index headset is giving up because it's restarting now and then so that was a, a headset restart I think we're still going funny enough input is still working I need to repick the audio device when that happens though you are doing very well more automata incoming Prepare yourself and press the indicated button when you are ready. Uh, I, this is the interesting part with this level is that it's always facing forward. Usually, I'm usually I'm like a proponent for having things being static in space. Just that, <laughs> just that when transitioning between the 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 mech i keep forgetting what what they call it um but whatever this transition here i don't care about which direction is which because 
I'm just shooting stuff that I can see. So getting back in here, it could be nice if this was actually always in front of me when getting here. So if I do this, I will still get it in front of me. I'm not sure. I say this mostly because the center is always in front of it. It's not like it's like I'm spawning in the middle of it. Hmm. Yeah. Something like that. Pretty sure that's an exit button. Might be nice with, with a tooltip. <laughs> Maybe there's a dialogue when pressing it, but I'm not taking a chance on that right now. Uh, this should be the weapons for my mech, right? Deploy mini turrets. Shoots explosive shells, AoE damage. Sonic sword. Shoot acidic bubbles, creates a puddle for small duration. So it's a dot. Um, explosive shell sounds like fun. And uh, this route has hardly anything. So let's put a personnel turret. Um, where's my actual cash? I think this. This is probably my my treasure, treasury. Forty-four buckaroos. Uh, switch back in. It. I kind of want instead of having it being in the abstract button. I wouldn't mind at all like being able to push or like aim at him and and push the trigger or just push the trigger on some some interface button. But then again, to get from here, I. It could also be like I have I have laser beams. This almost looks like a menu. Oh, so it now switched weapon. How do I know which weapon is already active? That doesn't switch the weapon used. Is it just the last one I buy? I don't I don't know. Like, I, I could imagine that, like, pressing this would assign it to that hand and that to that hand if I could have two different ones, but now I'm not sure. But yeah, in here there could be another option, like, we could still have this button to do it fast, but I wouldn't mind having, like, a physical option to do it. I don't know, maybe that's overkill. Uh... Let's go. Starting is that button. Yep. <laughs> is it? Do I do self damage on my own bots? I hope not. Oh, it's dodging? They also go in different directions. That's interesting. Orange, is that is that my energy? I expect it to be my life and the green might Hostile automata. Ready yourself and press the indicated button to face them. I imagine the green would be the base damage or the opposite. It's a bit unclear at this point. Oh oh I have a button to switch weapons. Oh, okay. Duh. There we go. So I can actually... Oh, shit! <laughs> I... Did I teleport? I don't know what happened there. This seems to be like a... Uh, what's it called? Hit scan weapon, scan hit, hit scan. Yeah, much easier to use for erratically moving enemies. In any case, I think I can shoot those. Yeah, and then switch. That's interesting. 
It seems like the last group of defective automata on this sector is going to be a big one. So don't forget, upgrade your defensive structures, upgrade your weapons, uh. and do not let those infected automata escape. Scary. I don't even have all types of towers yet. Because if the last one is a big one, I should really upgrade the single target ones. Is there another level? Oh yeah. Okay, so that there's three levels. That might not make sense because it's the wrong curve, but whatever. So that is slow there. Uh, how much money? Is there any that life steal sword? That's your healing. It's like. I, I guess these are upgrades for every level because I <laughs> it feels like I would probably get a few favorites and then I would like the other ones to go away kind of uh, how much per second one that's like damage per second one and this one does 25. This one has to be in place for a long time. It doesn't say time though. Just says damage per second, not the duration. Hmm. AoE, not important for the boss, I guess. Damage per second one is also slow. I'm just gonna up. Oh, I can't. It's too expensive. Damn it. Uh, let's get a turret. Yeah, that works. 88. That's too expensive. Move portal. Nah, I think I'm done. And I can start it here. Well, let's go in here. Shoot turrets over here. I can have two of them. Yeah. Whoops. I think I can actually make them aggro me. That's probably um, probably why they went a different way last time. Oh, that's my soldiers. Duh. Shoot the red ones. I have two upgraded towers on that side. That feels pretty good. I wonder if there's a... Oh, there is teleport. Yes, I think I accidentally teleported last time. Great job. There are more infected automata in the next sector. We better keep going. Funny enough, there's... Oh, my, my vest is turned off. Oops. Oh, it's low on battery. <laughs> I was like, there's no bass in this victory music, but... Yes, there is. I'm just running low on battery. Right, okay. I should charge this. I'm just gonna remove my voodoo vest. That's my bad for not charging it in a while. And... Woof. Okay, let's see. Session 24 minutes. Let's do at least one more level. Four stars. Very nice. Normal. Next. Oh! What's all this? Oh, it's more it's modifiers, difficulty modifiers. You lose health constantly, even between rounds. <laughs> Dying no longer drains health from the escape status of the base. So I guess that's when my mech dies. <coughs> it actually removes uh, like the, the, the score, the life of the base, yeah? Enemies are in... I'm not sure the escape status. I'm not sure what that actually means. I guess that means how many have escaped. Uh, for me, bases would often usually just have health. But mm, yeah, I guess it makes sense. Makes sense. Score times 0 0.9. That that's less score. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It makes it easier. Duh. 9.3 is. Uh, that's 
pretty funky numbers. Uh, it's an increase, it's a big increase. Enemies are invisible and are revealed for a few seconds after taking damage. What? Coming soon, okay. <laughs> Enemies explode with confetti when you kill them. Times this is just fun. So, cake day surprise. This makes me think of uh, party mode in Halo, that skull. Not sure if it was called party or whatever, when you headshotted enemies or grunts or whatever. Replicators. Killing an enemy spawns miniature copies. Uh, 1.6. Coming soon. And I bet it's explosives won't coming soon. Enemies will be harder to defeat but will explode upon death causing a chain reaction. But be careful not to be damaged. Let's, let's keep with the standard for now. Wave one, backwards. Uh, also, text on a transparent surface. So if I go down there, I mean, nobody would do this, but it kind of intersects with all the other science stuff. Uh, it's a normal, like, usability issue in VR because it's so easy to... <laughs> it looks nice, but it doesn't help with reading it. Um, these are again things that will alter the route so I don't feel compelled to even build in this whole island because at some point they will just go through here and then we have a second gate over there that probably probably will open with time and that we will go this way so here over here is where they join I guess Unless this opens. Oh, sheesh. This is very... It's very dynamic. <laughs> it's like... When that... If this... If this opens... Will that even change anything? I guess if both of these are open, it might change. So they both go that way, but... Wow, okay. 550. Let's just start off and, and try to beat it. I can't sell. I, can't, I haven't checked if the sell cost is, is less than I buy it for. Let's, let's just do that immediately, I guess. Uh, let's do it here. Uh, let's do the anti-personnel tunnel. I guess, I guess the... Or turret. These, uh, with soldiers, they can actually move their, their stuff around. There's too much text on this one, it doesn't fit. <laughs> but that's pretty obvious. Price 105. Sells for 42. That's not even half. Wow. That's like 40%. So that means place the tower once in the most best in the most like optimal place and never sell it unless it becomes a completely redundant but that's it Un until i know how the level progresses with closing force fields maybe that's even randomized is is that the case <gasps> so many uncertainties right now i'm gonna put one of these personal ones here so that way I can move it over here later. Maybe. Oh, is that too far away? What? Oh, the range is really, really short. I guess that works. Huh. Oh, uh, that's, that's good to know. I can, I can move it. There we go. To be in range of this turret. It's very nice that you see the. I. Oh, so you see the range of it, and you see what the app upgrade does. That's really nice. I like that. It's always good, like getting feedback on what you're actually paying for. Uh, I'm not sure what this one does. Uh, 
unit HP 170, unit damage 22. I assume those are upgrades, but if, if they are, I expect there to be a plus something. So it's like, or a parenthesis or brackets afterwards saying like the old damage plus a new number, which is the upgrade. Because now I don't know what the upgrade actually is. I guess if I build a new one, Oh yeah, unit HP 140 and damage 12, so it's the stats of the units that increase. But that's not clear from this dialogue. Let's see. Uh, I don't think there's any way to see what is spawning. There's no wave info. In some games you get like, next the next wave will contain these number of enemies. Wave 3 out of 3? That's probably from the last level. I think that's been cached. Because we're currently on level 1, or wave 1. Uh, <laughs> uh, I'm just gonna upgrade my buster immediately. So that feels very useful. Especially as it's a hitscan weapon. Um, Yeah, I'm, I'm really not sure of the towers. Uh, well, let's just... I, I, in reality, I just want to start it and, and, and let's see what happens. Where's my actual... Oh, I'm all, all the way over here. The teleport is a quick way to... I guess these force fields are also... A wait for me to to get shortcuts. That might be the main reason for them, but it's scary when they shut down. Very scary. <laughs> Pretty sure these guns are now very powerful. Still says wave three out of three. now says wave 2 but it's again still backwards for me here that's I, I assume this is the same model when going down into this mode uh, or it might not be because I the, where's the oh there we go so it does say wave 2 for me here and I assume I can see it from the yeah from the back yeah 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 uh, it, it's probably the same model. Uh. Oh, now we also <laughs> have have people. That was quick. People coming from the other direction. Uh. Oh, that's the slow tower. That's a good good thing to have now. Let's uh. Let's do the. AOE usually is after a slow tower because a slow tower will compact the, the units together. But now I'm like, should I move everything here? What if that? I hope that's a shortcut for me. So I'm gonna. Uh, big bomb. Slow when they join together here. Let's see. That's the damage over time. I think I need. I I wanted another bomb bomb thing there, and I want. Oh, I'm out of money. Whoops. I think I will try to focus on. I would like to move my my soldier like from just lifting it and placing it somewhere else. Maybe that could be an upgrade. <laughs> And teleport is if there's all both smooth locomotion and teleport teleportation it's usually quicker to teleport unless there's a long cooldown for it wow these guys are hard and they do melee damage apparently
Oh wow, 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 wow. Oh, that was a slow turret. Yeah, it shoots blue blobbies. Oh, I have a map. Uh, the map is over here. I'm the green one. I guess the purple ones are my towers. Yeah. And there's likely no enemies. I expect the enemies to be red. Honestly, these are a bit too many colors. There's like... The two lines have different colors, there's different color for towers, for my uh, friendly soldiers, and this this mech thing. <laughs> I mean, it's it's nice with colors. Oh, and walls are, are cyan. But it gets confusing. And... The... Target is a blue circle, and the spawn gates are dark purple. Comes, comes a bit much. Upgrade this. 400. There's no force field that has turned off, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna boost these. I can't do that one. Oh crap! I spent all the money already. Well, let's go for it. I almost want to fly up to get a better view, but I guess that's. I keep I keep, I'm so used to watching my my FPS VR thing there so I keep doing that to see the map but I can just look at it <laughs> but I, I I do I do get it in the middle when when twisting my hands so that's pretty nice oh I haven't started whoops I almost expect to always get into this mode when I click start Uh, that worked. Oh, these are so short you can't see them above the wall. That's, that's a bit scary. Guess now is the time to look at the map. Where am I? I'm the green one. Oh, shooting them out actually lures them into this force field. That seems bad. Oh, air units. <laughs> I keep looking at the wrong overlay. Uh, uh, it's going towards the... Let's check the missile turrets. If they actually do anything. Where are they? Oh, they're over here. Maybe they can't shoot air. We'll see momentarily. No, they can. Oh, oh, that looks really nice. There we had... The situation with a single target as the end unit and that's that's where a particle beam would make a lot of sense 700 dosh let's uh, use some of that uh, I'm gonna put the particle beam here so if anything comes through it will get a beam that does more and more damage uh, how much is it 170 I'm not sure why this box is over there instead of above the thing I'm hoovering. It's a bit... I mean, it seems to be the universal... It's supposed to be a full wheel here. But... I kind of wouldn't mind if it was closer to the thing actually hoovered. I mean... Yeah, it, it makes sense if you want to read and then keep reading the different things quickly, I guess. Uh, it's, it's hard to say which one I would prefer without a way to switch between them, but like if I go that, like, oh, what's that? And I need to look over there, like, ooh, instead of just getting it outside or close to it. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe it's fine. Hmm. Will it? Oh, it actually, woohoo! moves with the map it is a bit funky that it spins with the headset not that many interfaces are like comfortable that way 
I guess it works. Uh, like my head says that I've played a game that called it's called Water Beers VR, and in that one you get a pallet on your left hand, and you grab stuff off it and place it. I mean, this laser beam action. I guess that's because it's supposed to work on the desktop. I get it. Yeah, right. So on the desktop it works. It makes sense to have this mechanic because you just click something and click this menu. So yeah, yeah, I get it. I keep forgetting that this works with two players. <laughs> it now makes sense. If it was only for VR, I would want a pallet here with all the different towers and just being able to place those, spin and place more towers. Uh, but it makes sense. I'm interested to see if this game works with remote play together. If I can uh, invite someone to play the local multiplayer mode over the internet, even if that's still not in the game, like with remote play together. I will test that at a later time. Uh, let's see. <laughs> Oh, I'm at level lightning bolt. I'm not sure what that means. Uh, anyway, over here, I think I want this f because I think they actually block. And is there some of these? I, I think I've tried all of them now. The particle beam is there. I have the other personal, I think single target these ones. I want those. Oh, I built the wrong one. Whatever. Let's put them in the same place. Oh, I can't. There you go. Whoops. Put this here. 200. I have that already. Let's stay with that. I'm not focusing much on the... On the active... I want to try the sword, actually. Oh, did... It's, too ex it's not too expensive. Uh... Is it not in the game yet? I can't buy it in any case. Have I misunderstood this? And if this button means going into the mech, that's actually what I asked what I asked for before, but I don't actually know what it does because it there's no there's no tooltip. <laughs> And I imagine if it would actually go to the mech, it would have a, an icon, like a face or whatever, matching the, the robot. Why can't I buy these? Should have the money for it, according to the number up there. I wanted to try the sword. Well, screw it. Oh, I'm in a menu. Did I build the wrong thing again? Didn't I put... I, I keep pushing the wrong one, I guess. So I bought the wrong tower turret twice. This is the one I was gonna buy. Damn it. Whatever, let's... 200. So it wasn't clear there, obviously, that, <laughs> that I was in a build step over here. Maybe that should, like, gray other things out. I don't know, maybe that's a bit bit unnecessary but it did confuse me for a while there sonic sword but that was because i did i thought i built a different tower that didn't have a second step most clearly i haven't learned icons yet <laughs> let's start wave you can see the unit spawn behind the Oh, there's, oh, there's a lot of stuff coming. I have swords! And there's a map. Uh. Oh, there's the confetti. That's a big one. Oh, shoot. I think these will... This will give me life. But I'm not, not super sure now. 
Oh, that looks scary. Let's do it the old fashioned way. Was that one shooting my tower? Do the towers also take damage? It certainly looks that way. Oh, it's blocking towers. Really? That exists? That's scary. But that's that's like I I can see this as a real fun co-op game because then you would say to the the robot player like so a tower is blocked please fix it Oh I can see that some force fields have been disabled uh, In single player I kind of wanted to go automatically back to this mode when the wave has finished. Uh, <laughs> that's my, my intuitive, like, want in any case. Like, yeah, I'm done. Please put me back in here already. Uh, 1300! I'm not sure if the swords are good because I, I think I got my health back. But is that only from using the sword or is it also something you always get back? I don't know. Eighty damage. That's insane. Spy doesn't hit the boss if there's a boss. Let's upgrade the particle tower. That's the final line of defense. It does not increase r range. Fire rate slow. Slows down. What what is the actual increase? Oh, forty percent slow. Let's see if I try to build one. It says 25% slow, so that's what's increased. It's also fire rate slow. Fire rate say still slow, so no higher fire rate. Uh, upgrade that anyway. Oh, the slow one got red. <laughs> Did I upgrade this two levels? No. 500 left. Uh, well, let's just boost. Nice. It's a bit confusing because this one get a ye gets a yellow base and this one has a pink base on level 3. But the ball is pink. I'm... I'm, I'm not sure. <laughs> it's a bit confusing because... At a glance, I would imagine this had a level more because of the disparity. Missile revolver turret. Oh, it's already level two. It's level two, but it's completely gray on the base. I guess there's... It's uh, somewhat confusing. Uh, level three looks like... It upgrades the tower, but the base has the same gray color. So I guess the bases are not supposed to be a uh, level indicator. That was my impression when seeing these two upgrade, because the, the lights are pretty clear. So I guess... <sighs> yeah, there's, there's really nothing that combines them. There's yellow color, but pink lights. Yellow color and yellow lights. No color and no lights. <laughs> A yellow base on level 1 instead. Uh, this one is level... No, it's still level 1 slow tower. It's blueish. Yeah, I don't know. I, it's somewhat confusing at this stage. Hmm. No more money. Let's, let's start wave. And uh, Oh, here it says wave 5 out of 8. I'm not sure if this number is supposed to sync with this one. It seems likely. Oh, and the number goes away when getting close to it. Whoops. That's not the case for any of the other texts, so there seems to be a clip clip value that needs to be changed. Oh yeah. Whoop. And when I click start here, 
I also expect to go into the, the robot. <laughs> so now both enemies and the disabled force fields are red. That is another part of making it confusing, kind of. Oh, sh wrong, wrong button. I have friggin' insane swords now. Oh, wow. Hello. Oh, wrong button. Oh, hello. Oh, they have shields? Uh. Oh, hello. <laughs> These swords are crazy. For some reason I have a hard time separating my own units from the enemies. I guess there's the same types of robots just corrupted. I think that was the whole story, right? I keep looking at my hand like, uh, no, it's down there. I think that was it. Um, Switch mode. Yeah, I wouldn't mind at all having that to be automatic. I assume that the tower builder can actually... I could... Build things while this is all going on. Uh, I just haven't done that. Let's upgrade this. I want to upgrade this. I haven't done that. Didn't I just... Did I upgrade the other one? Oh, I'm, I'm... Oh, that's funny. When I click this one, the, the mouse or laser was over that one. So when I finished upgrading, I clicked again and I got, got it for that one instead. <gasps> Clearly, I'm slightly confused. It also seems to be... <laughs> due to the tower blocking enemies, it seems almost like beneficial to have some kind of sheep tower earlier. Like, let's build one of those. And... Wait, no! What? What? Ah! Damn it! Yeah, this is really bad. <laughs> um... This is what I expected to happen, but... Which I... Sadly forgot about. Whoopsie daisy. Well, I guess I'm gonna be stationed over here because all the defense is gonna be. <laughs> let's let's move this beforehand. Um I want to be I guess the blue line that's not defended, yeah. Now I'm just looking at the map navigating. I have collision with these? No? Yeah, oh, I'm pushing them around. Right, okay. <laughs> wow. Let's check performance. 119.8. That's clearly all almost been perfect. That's nice. Let's unspin my cable. <laughs> Oh, I'm... Am I spinning in the wrong direction? Oh, crap. Pretty sure I made it so I should spin in the direction of the arrows, yeah. I had a nice loop to get my feet stuck in. And now I'm a bit head, head spinny. Let's start. Approaching an hour. Let's see if I can finish this level. Both swords, I expect to have a sound, some kind of cooldown. 
Oh, those are the, the bad ones, right? The block? Maybe not, I don't know. Um... Right, okay. Do I need confetti? Oh, hello! Am I almost dead? No. Oh, those are quite annoying indeed. But lucky enough they're flying so I can shoot them at a distance, which is very beneficial. Uh, <laughs> still use the map wrong all the time. Oh, this is... I guess they were stuck here shooting... These are the old towers, right? The unknown upgraded ones. Music is calming down, that means I'm done. That's when I manually need to go here again. Uh, pretty happy right now with having my two weapons there, so let's focus on towers. So that one turned on again, so now they're going in two directions. Interesting. Or, like, back this way again. Oh, all of them are on again. <laughs> and it's wave 7 out of 8. Still 3 out of 3 over there. Uh, is this a slow... A slow turret. This is a... Personal tower. Let's move this over here. Yeah. They're more likely to be a bigger group here before anything has died. Let's just do more missile turrets. I'm not sure if missile turrets takes everything, but they seem to even shoot like flyers. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Uh, normal turrets as well. 900, let's upgrade this. Should probably check what it does. Damage 4 compared to damage 3. But it also increases range. It's a bit odd that some of these values are in green, while this is not has no values in green. It feels like this one has more formatting applied, and this one and this one. And when it comes to upgrades, I expect the actual upgrade to be in green text. That would make it very quick to just look over and and see what the upgrade gives me. That would be very beneficial. Uh, right, 400, do some more upgrades. Uh, 22, let's go for it. Let's switch in and start. It's very helpful to see, like now I don't, wouldn't need the controller controllers to be visible but otherwise seeing what button is the start button is quite helpful uh, maybe not in the future but right now it is oh oh the mech finally died whoops that's bad but good experience so this means I can now look here and see if yeah I can build it mid Mid-session. Nice. Okay, so that hurt. I still don't really know which, which of these are mine. Am I brown or green? I'm guessing I'm green. Because brown has decreased, which I assume is the base. So the, es the escape value. 
because that's what it costs to die with this mech this mech so the swords are definitely dangerous to use those tower disablers are horrifying <laughs> Is that it? Nine hundred, and that has been unlocked again. Uh, I'm gonna upgrade stuff. Four hundred. Put the normal. Small turret here, just so any any like blockers, tower blockers can can do those instead. Okay. Oh, and that is now a really short. <laughs> These are now pointless. There you go. This is the last wave. This one is almost pointless. Let's sell it and use our money here instead. Yeah. That one works. Those work. This is pointless. It is the last wave according to... According to here. <laughs> this is pointless. This is the only time where it makes sense to sell things because I know it will never ever be like useful again. That's the slow field. Yeah, you don't get much from selling though. <laughs> Almost nothing. Right, let's do this. Wrong button, but right button. Let's try not to die. This is when I realize that more shooting options might make sense. Oh, whatever. I have a lot of towers. Let's try to keep this working. Somewhat beneficial to be tall. I think the enemies have different colors due to their levels as well. Maybe? I'm pretty sure there's no friendly fire, but not 100%. Uh, oh, oh, there are flyers. Yeah, explosives or like a shotgun there would make a lot of sense because it's a big swarm. Something is shooting me. No? Oh, oh, there's a turret disabler somewhere. Oh sheesh! No, 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 no! Not sure if I got any life back there, but I tried to anyway. Where's? Where's oh, oh, that's a big tank! Wow. Okay. Is it just the one? I don't know. Oh, disabled bots. Where is it? I'm almost dead. Oh, 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 there's two of those. Oh, shush. Ah, I'm dead. Where are the tanks? There's... I think that one was somehow killed. Maybe by the particle beam. This one is still moving in. I wanted to make it over here so I can see the particle beam shoot. Oh. Can I do pings? Like, if this was multiplayer, could I ping over here? Like, to show a, a pillar to... Oh, it's it's gonna super die. Yeah, there we go. Good job, soldiers. Oh, I need to kill that one, though. Can I jump over walls? No, well, all of them are very thick. 
can't jump over a corner like that. I guess this wall. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice. That pushes me out here, but not, not, not like starting the wave, but eh. Victory! Three stars! Yeah, I can see that happening. I lost... I died twice. That's pretty bad. So, there's... <laughs> there's not much statistics on the victory screen. Not like you kill this many of the type of units, or you died this many times with your mech, or these many escaped. Uh, it would be kind of nice. Money spent, money earned. All kinds of statistics are really interesting when playing power defense. Yeah, otherwise I, I quite enjoy this. Even in single player, where I can't build during the actual wave, it's still a lot of fun. I uh, <laughs> very much want to try it in this local multiplayer mode. Um, I, I'm hopeful to get a chance to do that. Maybe even tonight, we'll see. I'll talk to a few people and see if they're up for testing it. Uh, some usability things, but I think I've mentioned everything in this video. <laughs> I'll try to try to write this up as well. Um, put it in the show notes or the show notes, the, <laughs> the video description. Yeah. Exit game. I I still wonder. I'm just gonna start this. I have an oh, it does the tutorial again. No, no. Okay, never mind. I wanted to try... I wanted to try the button inside the level if it was gonna quit the game or not. <laughs> I still don't know. But yeah, that's gonna be it for this test. It's been going on for... <gasps> oh, there's no session time, but an hour and seven minutes. Okay, that's gonna be it. Bye-bye.